Higher FPS and faster loading times are everyone's goal and you don't need some beastly rig to play on max details. Just few tweaks here and there and miracles will happen. First thing what you should do is defragmentation at least of Guild Wars 2 folder if you have classic hard disk. If you have multiple physical disks, make sure game is on other disk than system. If you have SSD you are golden, your loading times will be cut from average minute to about 3 seconds. Next step can really help, especially if you have game installed a longer time. Go to C, Users, your username, Updata, Roaming and Guild Wars 2 folder and delete everything in it. This will significantly decrease your loading times even with SSD and also increase FPS for some people. Downside of this is that it will delete all your login info and some settings in game, but it's nothing what you can fix in 2 minutes. You don't have to do this every day, once per month is optimal. Launch your game with parameter map load info. For some reason it will load maps a little bit faster. Due to technical limitations you will never get stable 60 FPS in fights with lots of people around no matter on settings or hardware you have, but you also don't have to play in slideshow even on low end setups. You can toy with many settings, but not every single one have expected impact, so let's look on most significant. You can safely set to max stuff like animations, environment, LOD distance, textures and shaders even on older computers. And if you have decent frame rate in empty places, just leave it that way. Two most important settings are character model limit and character model quality. Those will set amount of players loaded around and quality of their models. Don't be afraid to use lower settings for both. It will make your game run smooth with hundreds of players on screen. For example, my personal settings are low for limit and medium for quality, even on my i7-6700K with GTX 980 Ti. Second most impacting settings are reflections. Technically, only place where you can see some differences are water surfaces. Difference between all and none can be 20 FPS and that even on maps where isn't water at all. Shadows aren't as load heavy as in other games. Up to medium settings is impact minimal and if you have new GPU difference is small even on ultra. Interface size other than normal can decrease performance for some people. Collision sensitivities can cause serious FPS drops in places crowded with obstacles and it can make camera flapping pretty annoying, so make sure you have it always on minimum. Turning on content guide can also cause occasional FPS drops, you don't need it anyway. It's always better turn vertical synchronization off if you don't experience some serious screen glitching. You can also do some more advanced changes what makes your game looks 10 times better and usually without losing FPS. Turn off in-game anti-aliasing and post-processing, because it's look horrible. Download and use reshade with some decent presets instead. It will do that job much better. With this you will play a whole new game. Few of my favorite presets are in the description. That's all I had for today, so if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.